and welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Working with the MicroStrategy URL API. In this episode, you'll learn how to use the URL API to link reports and documents together and enable navigation between objects in a project. Extensive detail on this topic is also available in the MicroStrategy Developer Zone, or MSDZ documentation, which is available for download at this link on your screen. Section 1 Using the URL API. To navigate to another document or report from a document, you can use a hyperlink embedded in an image or text. In this example, by applying HTML code to an image or text and setting its is hyperlink property to true, you can convert any image to a hyperlink. You make it possible for users to navigate from their original document directly to another document or report by creating HTML code that contains the appropriately formatted project and object information. HTML hyperlinks between documents and reports require specific syntax and object definitions. In addition to executing reports and documents, hyperlinks from documents can pass prompt answers, page by elements, and can designate what layout should be open in the executed document. Let's walk through a quick example for creating a link to other documents or reports. First, insert an image in a document. Second, right-click the image and select Properties and Formatting. Third, in the Properties and Formatting window, in the left pane under Properties, make sure that General is selected. Fourth, in the right pane, select the Is Hyperlink checkbox. In the Hyperlink box, type a valid address for a MicroStrategy report or document. Note. You don't need to define the Open and New Window property in any particular way. The new report or document always displays on a new screen on the mobile device. Section 2. Absolute and Relative Links to Reports and Documents when your destination document or report resides on a separate MicroStrategy web server or MicroStrategy mobile server than the source document, you should use the absolute hyperlink path. Since an absolute path provides a specific MicroStrategy web server or MicroStrategy mobile server name, if its name or IP address changes, the link will not work. Because of this limitation, avoid using absolute paths to link between objects. Illustrating the ASP.NET interface, Generic web or mobile server full hyperlink syntax is shown on the first link on the screen. Notice that the parameters are joined with an ampersand. Illustrating the JSP interface, generic MicroStrategy web universal or MicroStrategy mobile server universal syntax is shown on the second link on the screen. Instead of using the absolute hyperlink syntax, you can use a relative hyperlink to link those reports and documents that reside on the same MicroStrategy web server or MicroStrategy mobile server. Using relative syntax makes the hyperlink more flexible because you don't have to update it when the machine name changes, which can happen during the project migrations from development to production. In addition, you don't have to provide user credentials in the URL. These parameters are passed automatically to the next report or document with your user session information. With relative hyperlinks, you can link to reports or documents in the same or different project than the source document. When you link to reports or documents in the same project, you can remove the project and server parameters from the URL because they're passed automatically with your user session information. Note, you can also use the open brace ampersand server name close brace and open brace ampersand project close brace macros instead of manually typing parameter values in the URL. However, if you link to reports or documents that reside in a different project, you must include both parameters in the URL. An example of the ASP.NET interface for web or mobile server relative hyperlink syntax to a document or report in the same project is shown on the screen here. An example of the JSP interface for MicroStrategy Web or MicroStrategy Mobile Server relative hyperlink syntax to a document or report. Also shown below is the JSP interface example. Section 3, Links to Reports and Documents Parameters. 
Before we start this section, it is important to note that you can download a complete list of events and their IDs in the Report Services Documentation Creation Guide product manual or the MicroStrategy Developer Library, which can be found at this link. This section explains each of the MicroStrategy Web URL parameters necessary to construct a relative hyperlink to a report or document. Parameters are described in sequence according to how they display in a hyperlink. By stringing together appropriate parameters, you can produce useful hyperlinks specific to your needs. Let's look at an example of a hyperlink composed of individual parameters. First is the event ID. The event ID defines the type of event that the URL performs. There are several different types of events. However, in the MicroStrategy mobile application, you will most often use the event IDs associated with executing another report or document. The report execution event ID is 4001, as illustrated here. Use the syntax EVT equals 4001. Second is the ID of the report or document. This is the unique identifier of the report or document to which you are linking. You can easily obtain a report or document's ID from its properties. If your destination is a report, use report ID equals object ID, where the object ID is the report's unique identifier. If your target is a document, use document ID equals object ID, where the object ID is the document's unique identifier. If your target is a document, similarly use Document ID equals object ID, where the object ID is the document's unique identifier, as illustrated on the screen here. These parameters should be used in conjunction with the appropriate report document execution event IDs listed above. To obtain the ID of a report or document in MicroStrategy Desktop or Web, right-click a report or document and select Properties. In the Properties window, the ID value represents the report or document ID that's needed for a URL. Use the right-click menu to copy the ID value. You can also obtain a report or document ID from the URL in your browser window after you execute the object in MicroStrategy Web. If the report to which you are linking is a data set of the source document, you can use the following auto text code to retrieve the report ID at runtime, where report name is replaced by the name of the report. View mode and current view media. These parameters specify the view mode in which the document or report should open and the view media in which the document or report is viewed. When creating hyperlinks for MicroStrategy mobile apps, you should always use the syntax illustrated. For a complete list of view mode and current view media values, refer to the Report Services Document Creation Guide product manual or the MicroStrategy Developer Library. Section 4. Passing Dynamic Prompt Answers The MicroStrategy mobile app supports both attribute element prompts and value prompts. You can dynamically pass prompt answers to those prompts using the URL API. With dynamic hyperlinks, you can pass prompt answers to a prompted report or document to automatically answer the prompt. In doing so, you create a hyperlink to a prompted report or a prompted document and answer the prompt at the same time. In effect, you enable users to drill from a document to another document or report, including specific data within the drill. To accomplish this, you use the syntax for linking documents to other documents or reports and append the following syntax as shown on the screen under Sample Syntax. In the syntax illustrated, replace attribute with the name of the attribute for the hyperlink you are creating. The auto text code supplies the attribute ID at runtime when you replace attribute with the attribute name. While the attribute name is easier to read and use, the attribute ID is processed more efficiently. Note, the prompt that the hyperlink answers must be for the same attribute as the attribute hyperlink you click. Also illustrated is the complete syntax for passing prompt answers as shown in the second link. The next example illustrated is for a hyperlink that passes information for the attribute category. The document you are linking to contains a prompt on category. Note, if the attribute name contains spaces, you can enclose the name within square brackets. Section 5. Passing Page by Elements 
In addition to passing prompt answers, you can also pass page by element selections to destination reports and group by element selections to destination documents, forcing them to open on a specific page. To pass page by elements, use the syntax for linking documents to other documents or reports and append the following syntax as illustrated on the screen. Section six, passing selector values. In linked documents, you can set the target document selectors to be the same values as the source document selector value. For example, if the source document has a selector based on the year attribute and the current selection is 2011, all of the selectors in the target document that are based on the year attribute will be set to 2011. Once you've created a link to run a report or document on an iPhone or iPad, you can add the prev message ID equals zero tag and set the target document selectors to be the same as the source document selectors. The URL illustrated on the screen contains parameters to link the selector values. Note, the selectors must be attribute element selectors within the selection type. Section seven, document links. Document links enable you to open MicroStrategy mobile screens, such as settings or shared library, using buttons within documents. The syntax for the links on iPhone and iPad are illustrated on the screen. You apply navigation links in the same way as hyperlinks. The table illustrated lists the available screens and the syntax to open them. Document links also enable you to open external apps using buttons within documents. The table illustrated lists the macros for iOS and Android used for opening external apps, such as mail, phone dialer, etc. By modifying the macro examples to fit your needs, then applying them as hyperlinks to a button, which can be text or image, in a document, you can integrate third-party apps into your MicroStrategy app. And that's a wrap for this MATA course on the MicroStrategy Mobile URL API. If you'd like to get more information on MicroStrategy Mobile and the URL API capabilities, please refer to the MicroStrategy Web SDK documentation, which can be downloaded at https resource.microstrategy.com slash msdz slash default dot ASP.